Hi everyone and welcome along. Today I'm going to show you how to really simply draw and then paint a dachshund, otherwise known as sausage dog or wiener dog, whatever you call it, we're going to paint them. So grab your paints and let's get started. So uh, dachshund or sausage dogs, whatever you like to call them, are very sweet and very drawable. So I'm going to show you three different poses um, I'm going to, and, and then paint three different types. So essentially a lot of my animal drawing always begins with potatoes and I'll explain what I mean. So we're going to begin with a, a dachshund from the side. So this shape here signifies a sort of shoulder torso down into the legs and what it, we can do with it is we can then connect it to another slightly smaller shape there we go which can be the hind legs so we join them together and of course the back is quite a lot straighter and from there we can get little legs and from there we can get the hind legs now we could do them even even longer but this is pretty good so this curve out and then bring it back in for the feet and a little tail and then up comes the head from the neck and we're going to come up and create another sort of rounded shape which from there we're going to bring it up to get the muzzle and come down and just sort of blunt it off and we can bring in an ear and an eye like that and a nose and so there we have a basic dachshund shape and you can sort of tweak it a little bit if you like so the next one we're going to do is a slight angle so we're going to begin with that shape again and what I'm going to do is it's going to be a bit more of a sort of broader like a very squashed upside down egg which is still going to create the legs for us coming off both sides nice big paws then this shape is going to be connected to our our rounded smaller shape at the back so we're going to go up and we're going to go across so there we go and we're going to have a leg coming out that way nice big paws and one that's sort of you can imagine the legs sort of coming down either side coming down either side of that backwards of elbow thingy and have a little leg again and then coming up we're going to have a head shape, the round shape, but this time we're going to bring the muzzle down. If you do basically sort of one sort of potato y shape and one smaller one, then we can place our nose in that one and use the bottom of it to create the muzzle and then place our ears I always think once you put the ears on it all suddenly falls into place and then connect that neck and then we'll get some eyes in that looks pretty nice okay so I'm just going to give those a, just a light rub out with my putty rubber first and then we will draw the third one. We're just getting the lines nice and faint for painting. 
So the third one we're going to do bears some similarity with the one we've just done, but we're going to do it from a different side. So we're going to get our body shape. Get our legs. slightly different. There we go. And then we're going to do a, a head that's just, we want to do a slightly sort of looking up, a dog that's looking up. Just thought this would be a good sort of challenge for us all. So you've got your, your head shape connecting up from the neck, but actually the muzzle is more up here and we can put the nose up there and then we can use the bottom of that shape for the open mouth. So that one is going to all come together in the paintings. It looks a bit strange at this point, but trust me, it'll be wonderful. Right, so let's get them nicely lightened and rubbed out, and then we can paint them in some different styles. I'm of the thought that if you've given them a really good uh, basis with your drawing, your drawing doesn't have to be detailed, but just needs to be quite solid and in proportion and things then you can really be quite loose with the painting so I'm going to start with quite a classic Dachshund uh, black and brown and I'll do this one first so I'm going to paint with my size 2 brush and I'm going to just take some Mars black and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint very much thinking about the sort of the contours of the body so thinking about the roundness of the rib cage there and then get a little bit of brown on my brush there just under the arms the legs you know what i mean the front legs and then bring the color up just be careful to not go too heavy with it up around the the neck and like you can absolutely get the contours of the body in really well even if you're painting as loosely as this And then up top, we'll have some ears. And just use a little bit of extra black if you want for a bit more contrast. And then come up with a bit of brown. Okay, and now for the face, I'm going to go down to a size zero, and all I say is don't be scared, don't be scared, it's fine. We're going to go quite sort of dilute 
down the middle of the face that's where I always begin because you always get a sort of lighter sort of shine down the center of the face because remember we're following the contours of the body and the face and then come around the side a little bit then up sort of around the eyes and then just down in between and I just like to do a little fill in and then there's a very sort of key little feature of these little brown doggies or brown and black doggies that you get that little brown spot sometimes on the eye and now because it's still just a little wet but it's it's drying up a little bit a little bit down the middle and just allows us to gently build the contours of the face and the nose and then we'll get a little bit of brown in underneath so we've got that sort of top lip and then at this point I just like to give it all a moment to dry around the face but we can get the eyes done so I like to do a little bit of the amber brown but making sure I'm leaving that little bit of unpainted shine so doing little curls around the circles of the eyes getting some Mars black and then just using the fine tip of my brush could be using a smaller brush but I, I don't think I necessarily need to do it That's looking good to me. And then the nose has a lot of shine on it as well. So what I like to do is get that sides in and clean off the brush and just sort of work the shape and then actually just blend it down into the mouth beneath. that bottom lip in there and then once it has dried we can do the tiny little bits of detail but what I can do is just give the paws some claws. With my four tenths brush I'm going to take a little bit of Mars Black and just put in the nostrils there and then just add a few little dots and there we have a lovely little simple loose watercolour dachshund now you get all sorts of different types of sausage dog and one that I think is really fun um, is the long haired one so for this one here I'm going to start using brush strokes in a longer form so I'm going to mix up some yellow ochre get that woken up and a bit of cadmium orange as well so i'm going to use my size 2 brush to start off with and i'm going to essentially paint the body with long sweeping strokes of different tones of brown And then when it comes down to the legs, they can also just have little sweeping brush strokes. And, you know, it's not just randomly painting in lots of 
lots of wayward lines. They all have to very much follow the curves of the body. And uh, usually they're very sleek dogs as well. These long haired dachshunds, so the tail as well. And we always see the line of the body, even under that hair. Some, some lighter tones in underneath there. The head will start sleek and then I've left this area clear so that we can paint in the ear. And what we'll be doing is we'll be building up the colour so that we can get some slightly darker tones in there to really define that layered ear. But for the for the face itself, you can just come down. I get my smaller brush, get maybe a little bit more concentrated colour and maybe just a little bit of a darker shade in there. So I've got a bit of moon glow in there. I'm just getting in underneath in the shady, shady, bar, shady parts and then I can use Use this darker tone whilst it's all still wet to really sort of help define the little bits. So you can see how just adding in a few finer darker lines just helps define the shapes while still being nice and sort of uh, quite characterful and loose. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of Mars Black for some noses and this sort of curve underneath the eye and then I'm going to place just a little bit of brown for a bit of a almost sort of eyelid just a bit more contour on the face okay so that's that one and then finally I'm going to do a uh, sort of mixed, I've seen some lovely sausage dogs with grey and black and brown patches which I just think is really cool and can be done really well in watercolour. So I'm going to use all my tones of colour and I'm going to do this lovely, I think they're called doxy dachshunds, I'm not sure, but I'm going to paint it in a very sort of painterly watercolour a very sort of happily watercolour suitable manner. So I'm back to my size two brush and I'm I'm painting it in quite patchily. And I've got some lovely moon glow here and I'm going to create some some nice grey bleeds and blends, a little bit of white I'm going to get back to some grey and brown. And then, having given that just a little bit of time, I'm just doing some 
black blends on it. So I'm sure from, from this, if you are an owner of a sausage dog, you should probably be able to come up with your very own personalised pet portrait, which is really cool. by starting with your lighter colours first and then adding in either washes or coming right in with some stronger colour. I'm just sort of being careful with trying not to get things sort of wet blends next to each other touching too much. And that will sort of contribute to the general look of it being just a little bit sketchy, kind of fun. So we come down the middle of the face and just start to create a sense of, sort of coming down the side. And I'm probably going to move to a smaller brush in a second. So for the last few bits I've put in little brown curls for the eyes just like with this one here and the beginnings of the nose. I've also just painted the tongue in in really really dilute permanent rose with a tiny bit of moon glow shadow just on the top whilst it was drying. And now I can place in some Mars black in the mouth but I'm not going to fully colour it in because there are teeth in there so we'll just get the sort of the basic outline and then Mars Black with my four tenths brush with eyes I never quite know when they're working until they suddenly work. So I just keep dabbing the brush until I feel like I've got a good shape and I've got a good, uh, yeah, got a good movement. I think that, that's pretty good. Maybe I'll make it just a tiny bit bigger. There we go. And the nose, so. It's funny, I think we all think we know dogs' noses, and then I think until you have a look at them, actually, they're quite surprising. Um, and then just bring it, always blend the black down below the nose, and then dot it out into dots for whiskers. That's another thing I think we a lot of us forget about dogs having whiskers. And there we go. Uh, we've got a rather funny, fun sort of dog with his tongue out just a little bit more pink on there and yeah there we go so what I'm going to do is let those dry and then we'll do a quick rub out of pencil and see what we got left and there we are once the pencils rubbed out they have an even more sort of loose quality and I think just to finish off I rather like the idea of having a 
bit of shadow, so this is just a bit of Payne's Grey, uh, nice and dilute. And you can see I'm just angling my brush quite low to the page. And honestly, don't overthink it. Just, just do it. Bit of a scribble, angle the brush low to the page, and there you go. Three jolly dachshund sausage dogs, wiener dogs, whatever you call them. Um, I can't wait to see if you have a go at painting your very own dog. Tag me on Instagram uh, at the Winton Paper Co. and show me your paintings. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, just hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and we will see you again next time. Bye.